morning, afternoon or evening, whenever you happen to come in, we're going to start tapping just over the collarbone, taking a couple of nice deep breaths, so taking an inhale through your nose and an exhale out through your mouth, coming to the outsides of the collarbone and all the way in. And then we'll take our time to start tapping underneath the collarbone. Just rocking from side to side or moving into your feet just so that you can start to get some energy moving through your body. Just getting all the juices flowing, whether or not it's morning, evening, afternoon. We'll start to tap the back of the neck and down through the shoulders. Coming up to the back of the head. Just lightly tapping, moving up over the top of the head. Coming into the forehead really lightly and then coming to the outside of the temples. Then take a moment to take a nice, long, deep breath. And exhale, sweep the hands down through the throat. And do that a couple of times. Inhale, exhale down through the throat. And again. Beautiful. Now we'll take our time just to give it a little tap under the arms. So by facilitating this, it just helps to move all of the fluid in the body. Any stuck fluid, it really helps. Come down the outside of the arm on the inside of the arm for that yin, the yang. Down the outside is yang, inside is yin. And just stay with your breath. You can still be rocking from side to side or finding some stillness, whatever feels good. And then just tapping up through your belly just sweeping up little karate chops just to the side of the groin and then into the kidneys so fists is really good for kidneys and just little taps to the back of the body refreshing the blood so all of this really helps to stimulate the fluid of the body the lymph and also blood circulation we're going to think about tapping down to the backs of the legs so we'll tap from the bottom down and we'll stop as we come to the knees and when you get down to the knees, we'll do some sweeping motions up and this will just help to pump the blood back to the heart. And then we'll come all the way down. Just stay with your breath when you do this. Massaging on the inside of the legs up, tap down and sweep up on the inside of the legs. Or you can pat up, whatever you feel feels good for you. Keep the knees bent as you come down. It's a really nice stretch to the backs of the legs and the spine as well. Okay, and then just come to the top of your mat wherever you may be. We'll take the hands just behind the head. Bend through your knees. Keep the back nice and flat. And then pop the bottom out. Open up through your chest. And we're going to take a couple of standing crunches. So it's kind of like you're doing the pelvic tilts in a standing position. So inhale open let the booty poke and exhale tuck down it's a nice big inhale through your nose and exhale release inhale through your nose exhale out through your mouth and notice that my knees stay bent the movement is through the pelvis we open up through the pelvis and the heart and we give that little squeeze and crunch down good work now we're going to just stay here and we're going to do little crunches. So just see how you feel as you crunch the little tiny ones. Notice my back is nice and long here, the knees stay bent and I'm just giving those little crunches. Open up the legs, toes out wide, knees track over your toes. We're going to come down from side to side, keep the shoulders round and back. We're going to come into double pulses very soon and that means that when you inhale, you inhale through centre and we'll exhale double pulse over to the side. So just notice how you feel as you go from side to side, keeping the body nice and long. Now we'll go for that double pulse, 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 inhale centre, exhale, double pulse, <sighs> inhale up, exhale, <sighs> and again, inhale up, exhale, <sighs> work I'm just maintaining that really nice steadiness length of spine that little double pulse is really helping helping to contract through your belly it's a Pilates breath helps to switch everything on keep those legs nice and long 
Okay, now I'm going to face you and I'm going to come into a goddess pose. So knees, toes stay out, back is nice and flat. What tends to happen is the knees round in. Let's see if you can open and pull those legs out so you feel into the inner thighs. Take the hands just behind the ears and rock from side to side. The elbows are coming down from side to side. Try not to let your body weight fall forward here, keeping up upright so you do have that tuck of the tailbone, back is nice and flat. Just coming over from side to side, keeping the elbows out nice and wide if you can, that'll help to open up the chest. Really nice for the legs, the hips, as well as the obliques, the side muscles of your belly. Nearly there. Beautiful. Okay, now we're going to bring those elbows up as high as our shoulders. Bring the hands in front of us. Keep the hips really still and move from side to side. Now, as you can see, my hips are not moving at all. This is coming from the torso and I'm really trying to maintain control of those elbows staying as high as the shoulders for some shoulder strength here. Stay with your breath as you breathe. Just moving through the midsection of the body. And we are nearly done. Beautiful. Okay, so we are going to come down to the ground now, lying on our backs. As you come down, just hug those knees into the chest for a little bit. And if you can't get the knees all the way in towards your chest, just take the hands underneath the knees or just do what you can here. It's up to you. Just so long as you feel a little bit of a compression into all of your organs. I always take a little roll from side to side because it does help to alleviate any stress on the back. And then we're going to take the hands underneath the hips so that you feel slightly elevated and the legs just up. Now there's an option here to drop one foot down for support. This is the easier version. Take the other leg up. We're going to go into some circles. If you can't lengthen that leg, feel free to bend the leg. And you can drop the foot down a little lower if you feel that it's just too high because it's too much in the hamstring. But otherwise, if you're feeling like you've got a little bit of strength, keep the other leg really stable and take the other leg into some circles. Point your toes to activate into all of your joints. And keep that back as flat as you can to the ground as you move through. This will help to stimulate some energy in the lower belly all the way up through the hip. So working into the psoas muscle, it connects from the hip all the way up. If you can maintain a connection of the chin toward the chest to lengthen spine and neck. Now we're going to bring that knee in toward the chest remember you have the option to drop that foot down to the ground if you want we're going to pulse for two and we take a breath with this we inhale we exhale inhale exhale and we go for a double pulse now remember that top leg if it doesn't feel comfortable being up take it to the ground double pulse make sure you take your breath with you it doesn't have to be straight, it can be slightly bent if you need to spend the leg. It just depends upon your flexibility. Everybody's at different stages, but there's always modifications. Good work. We're going to swap over soon. Exhale. And again. Nearly there. Good work. All right, we're going to swap over the other side. Remember that foot can come to ground if you prefer. And we'll go into some circles. Just remember if you can't get that leg straight to go into lower circles. So you can bend the knee if you need to or drop. I'm going to advance it by picking that leg up and coming out to the side. Good couple of times here. Stay really solid in your legs by pointing the toes. It's either generally pointed toes or flexed toes. Today we're pointing, it helps to really mobilize the joints. Stay with your breath. Work and remember spine length and neck length. You can drop the foot to the ground, bring the other knee to chest or keep it up. 
and we're going to go out for that double pulse inhale exhale good back in exhale beautiful keep with that breath inhale through your nose exhale out through your mouth for a double pulse really activates into the belly nice just remember back nice and flat length of spine and neck is important so thinking about tucking that chin slightly toward the chest elongating spine and neck instead of having the chin pressing all the way up to the ceiling sometimes you do need rolled up towel or a, a pillow under the head depending upon your neck and just have how much mobility you have now let's pistol group the hands arms nice and long toward the stars and pulse through nice big inhale exhale up good work we're going to continue with that feel yourself pull up from the shoulders and not the neck if you can keeping a mindful ball creative ball underneath the chin so you're not drawing the chin all the way toward the chest we've got a little something under the neck take the feet out a little wider but you don't have to have them too close to you so you draw them out wider but take them further away and we're going to reach for either side so we're coming into side flies now if it's too much on the neck the hands can come underneath the ears and we can rock from side to side just as I'm showing you now otherwise reaching from side to side nice once again back into the obliques the side muscles of the belly we are nearly there reaching for the heel if the heel is too close you can take those feet further away bring the knees in toward the chest again take a little rock arms out nice and wide palms down rock the legs to one side but don't touch all the way inhale back up flat back to ground exhale over to the other side now let's see if we can take the gaze the opposite side as legs so that you stretch the neck as well we're still maintaining activation in the core to support this but we are coming into a spinal twist as well so just do what you feel you can here try not to drop the legs to the ground keep connected into your core we inhale to center we exhale over to the side we inhale to center and we exhale over to the side and you could be breathing in through your nose now a little bit more of pilates a little bit more yogic control here beautiful just noticing how you feel with that strength and also flexibility all right just keep the knees in toward the chest and just notice how you feel today we have worked through building a little bit of steam in your belly and that creates momentum if you're going to do this before bed that is completely fine it just means that you'll have a really good sleep it does center you and bring a lot of clarity and helps with any stagnation in the body so have an amazing day and namaste